So the UAE travel bans will automatically be lifted once the legal case is resolved. The UAE Ministry of Justice revealed that travel bans in the UAE will be lifted automatically once your legal case is resolved. This eliminates the requirement for people to apply manually for the ban to be lifted. So you might be wondering, what even is a travel ban? Am I affected by this? It's basically a restriction where, um, which can prevent people from entering or leaving the country until specific requirements are met or legal issues are resolved. So you can get a travel ban for a few uh, things, such as you might have an ongoing criminal investigation against you. Unpaid financial debts could lead you to a travel ban. Rental disputes, also overstaying your visa and not paying those fines and more. And you can check if you have a travel ban for the majority of cases uh, via the Dubai Police website and app. Do we know people who've had travel bans? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> do we know people about travel bans? There has been a case uh, against Lovin, and in that case, I had a travel ban against me, and I had to hand my passport into uh, the authorities for a month or two. But it was like easy process after that to get it all removed and everything. I luckily wasn't involved in the admin of it, <laughs> but I, um, I think it's the length that's the concern, but everything is different. So if you have unpaid fines, you pay your fines and it's lifted immediately. Mm -hmm. When you have a criminal investigation or a, a case, a for dispute. example, then that needs to be resolved. And in that case, your passport is taken. But it's not to the, you know, I've seen reports of people, um, you know, saying, you know, our passports are taken. It's it's more of a, a process mm -hmm. and you're in conversation and, and you know where you stand in terms of, and, and it was a case like if it's a company thing, you're able to swap passports in and out. So it's not like one person is confined to the, to the country. So it didn't feel as, I think, scary as it's sometimes made out in the media. And it's all about resolution. And there is a way to, to find a resolution with the authorities. You just have to find what that is depending on what your case may be. Yeah, because travel ban, when you hear it just on its own, you might think, oh my God, I have a travel ban against me like that sounds scary um, <clears throat> but in fact it's actually not it's not too daunting and it can be dealt with really easily especially now after the UAE Ministry of Justice revealed that you could once the case is resolved that's it you don't need to do anything you can just go to the airport and everything's already going to be like done for you don't have to like change flights or anything because I saw someone on um, Instagram I believe it was uh, he's like a popular chef He had a travel ban against him and he had to like switch his flight around and everything mm. because of that travel ban. But now the process is going to be so much easier. So kudos. I would just say word of advice, aim not to have a travel ban against you. That would be the way to go. <laughs> and as I read through this and it's like unpaid fines, I'm like, do I have fines that I haven't paid? RTA, are you listening? <laughs> Let's see. Um, so that is a, a small change, but it could uh, affect you for the better and make your life a little bit easier, which is what we love about Dubai, always growing and changing, which leads us nicely to our next